And now, a reading from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Albin Schwartz. This one's called The Big Toe. <laughs> 31 Days of Halloween, Day 2. The Big Toe. A boy was digging at the edge of the garden when he saw a big toe. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck to something, so he gave it a good hard jerk, and it came off in his hand. Then he heard something groan and scamper away. <sighs> the boy took the toe into the kitchen and showed it to his mother. It looks nice and plump, she said. I'll put it in the soup and we'll have it for supper. That night, his father carved the toe into three pieces, and they each had a piece. Then they did the dishes, and when it got dark, they went to bed. <laughs> the boy fell asleep almost at once, but in the middle of the night, a sound awakened him. It was something out in the street. <gasps> it was a voice, and it was calling him. Where is my toe? It groaned. When the boy heard that, he got very scared, but he thought, it doesn't know where I am. It never will find me. Then he heard the voice once more. Only now, it was closer. Where is my toe? It groaned. The boy pulled the blankets over his head and closed his eyes. I'll go to sleep, he thought. When I wake up, it'll be gone. But soon he heard the back door open. And again he heard the voice. Where is my toe? It groaned. Then the boy heard footsteps move through the kitchen and into the dining room, into the living room, into the front hall. Then slowly they climbed the stairs. Closer and closer they came. Soon they were in the upstairs hall. Now they were outside his door. Where is my toe? The voice groaned. His door opened. Shaking with fear, he listened as the footsteps slowly moved through the dark toward his bed. And then they stopped. Where is my toe? You got it! Is what he said and he scared the boy, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry if I scared you there. Are you going to be able to sleep at night? Probably not, because all you people keep taking my toe. Where's my toe? <laughs> Did you hear that? You guys, I'm really scared right now. <laughs> I don't know why I read these stories. They really do scare me. I hope I didn't scare any of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>